So if you've been around the channel for any extended period of time, there is no doubt you've heard me use the phrase, the transfer portal giveth and the transfer portal taketh. And there is no better embodiment of that than the Oklahoma Sooners day to day where not only did they get a big win, they sustained a shocking, huge loss and we've got to break it all down. But before we can, as always, y'all know the drill. I need to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Are you surprised that Caden Green enters the transfer portal? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and comment down below. As those interactions seem small, they are massive to content creators such as myself. But... Having said all that, let's jump right into this. And before we jump into the Caden Green news, we are going to start with some good news, and that is that Oklahoma gets a big-time win in the transfer portal for Purdue wide receiver Deion Burks. And Deion Burks was a very productive player for Purdue last year. Oklahoma making the move from the Big 12 to the SEC, making the move from Dylan Gabriel to Jackson Arnold, you're in a situation where you want to surround him with weapons, and Deion Burks has proven to be an effective weapon in college football. Last season, he had 47 receptions for 629 yards, seven touchdowns. So any way you can surround Jackson Arnold with more weapons, more ways to be successful, I think that's a conducive strategy for success. Now, here comes the problem. Jackson Arnold and these wide receivers are going to rely on an offensive line that's going to keep them upright. And Oklahoma just had a massive name enter the transfer portal. Freshman offensive lineman Caden Green, who many were anticipating being the cornerstone of the Oklahoma offensive line as they made the move from the Big 12 to the SEC. And this was shocking. Caden Green came in as a freshman and instantly flashed. In fact, when we looked, he graded very high in pass blocking per pro football focus. His run blocking grade was a bit lower, and that's a little bit interesting considering normally young offensive linemen are going to be more efficient at run blocking than pass blocking. We talk about this all the time. It's the difference of firing off something and engaging as opposed to catching. If you're young, it's much easier to jump off the ball and engage someone and meet them head up as opposed to trying to catch someone who may have been in a college strength and conditioning room for up to four years. But Caden Green was phenomenal at pass blocking. In fact, he graded at a 69 once again on Pro Football Focus. We talk about this all the time. Offensive linemen are tough to come by in the transfer portal, especially offensive linemen that have been highly productive, that have a lot of experience, and that have a lot of eligibility left. Somebody is going to get very, very lucky with Caden Green. And I have no doubt that the Oklahoma Sooners are going to put on a full court press and try and keep him home because he is a very productive player and replacing him is going to be difficult but somebody in the transfer portal is going to be very happy. I have no doubt that he is going to instantly have numerous suitors because you just don't get that combination in the transfer portal, specifically at the offensive line, very often. You don't really see a lot of guys that have the upside of a Caden Green that were productive, that played, that got good experience, and that have that much eligibility just hit the transfer portal. Offensive line is such a needed position around the country. I can only imagine how many calls he's getting. And the question is, what do both parties do next? What comes next for Caden Green? What comes next for Oklahoma? Well, the Oklahoma Sooners have already been active in the transfer portal. We've talked about this, and Brent Venables is an aggressive coach. The one thing I say about Brent Venables all the time is, He's not going to sit on his hands. He's going to push forward. So I have no doubt that Oklahoma will look in the transfer portal and see what options they have. They'll look on the recruiting boards that they've put together of players they liked and see where they're sitting on the offensive line. And luckily, you still have Bill Biedenboe, who's proved to be a phenomenal developer of offensive line talent. But there is no way around this. This loss hurts, especially with that move to the SEC. And it's a move we talk about all the time. Brent Venables and staff were cognizant of necessary changes that they needed to make to this team, and we've seen the work that they put on in the defensive line. And this recruiting class they're putting together on the defensive line, it's phenomenal. The offensive line was a unit that Caden Green was really going to be an important piece towards, especially as they're replacing several other positions. And now they're in a position where they not only have to look to replace several positions, they have to look to replace their young star on the offensive line. How they go about doing this, 
I'm really interested in seeing because the transfer portal, you'll get some guys, but I don't know that you're going to get the blend that Caden Green had. At the end of the day, you have to put faith in Bill Biedenboe because far more often than not, he gets it right. And so while this is a big loss, while it hurts, and there is no way around this, this is a big loss. This does hurt. You have to put faith in the coaching staff. You have to put faith in Brent Venables. You have to put faith in Bill Biedenboe that they'll be able to right this ship through the storm. The transfer portal is no doubt a storm, and Brent Venables and company have been highly successful in navigating the storm but this time, the waves are real big, and I'm interested in how they navigate these rough waters. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking about this, because I personally did not see this coming at all, and I have to imagine Sooner fans everywhere are blindsided. Let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See ya.